So here we are, third gear, 4,000 RPM, floor garbage, downshift. Hey car friends, this is Stu from Really Cool Videos and welcome to my office here at OG Social where I'm extremely excited to announce two new car builds to the channel. We have the ultimate 90s hatchback showdown. First, with the 96 GTI VR6. Second, with the 96 Honda Civic Type R, but not really. I owned both of these cars growing up, first with Volkswagens, and then after I got beat by Hondas enough, <laughs> I wanted to own one of those, so I owned a car very similar to this. But now, I own both, two very fine examples of both, and we're gonna turn them into the ultimate versions of what they can be. What does that mean? Well, for starters, it means boost, turbo kits for both of them. The Civic kit I already have, the GTI kit has been ordered. In this video though, I wanna show you around both cars, how they sit right now, the parts I have back there in the garage on deck, as well as give you a quick drive in both so we can see how the baseline is for both cars. Even though this one is pretty heavily built already, I've actually had it for about a year, so it's very well dialed in. This one I get, just got, and I'm extremely excited about it. Very nostalgic build for me. Owned a very similar car when I was 18, and it feels like my youth <laughs> embodied in that car. So let me show you around both cars. Whoo, it's gonna be fun. Come on. Actually, have you downloaded OG Social yet? <laughs> Your boy Stu developed an app. It's called OG Social. It's like Instagram, except with a chronological timeline and no ads ever. Also, we value privacy, unlike a lot of the other platforms out there. Go to ogsocial.com, sign up for the free beta, support your boy Stu, lock in your username for free. Appreciate it. Let's check out the cars. All right, look at these things, man, I'm so pumped. So right here, 96 GTI VR6 Sequoia Green. Just picked it up from the original owner. And then I had my boy Nick detail the hell out of it. Full polish, ceramic coat. And this car has some awesome 90s mods. Car was bought in 96, modified in 96. So we got original Momo Aero wheels, chrome. Ooh, I have the original receipt for these. I love that they're on the car, but they will be changed out soon. Then we have the ABT front end quad headlights and grill currently also did the smoke turn signals dummies and fogs those headlights and grill are one of the main reasons i wanted this car so much very rare I used to lust after these when i was a kid next the interior check it out all black leather basically stock except for a momo steering wheel i have a silver gauge cluster from the driver's edition Whole bunch of shift knobs but i wanted to run the stock oem shift knobs since i found a really clean version on vw vortex thank you to the forums look at how clean these mats are thank you nick and i just love this car and we got the 96 civic cx <laughs> aka type r not really but this car is a lot of fun to drive very Pure and raw driving experience. I owned something like this when I was in my early 20s. Not this nice though, but a dual cam swapped Civic. Blast, super fun to drive. Now, <laughs> we've got Recaro Profi XL seats. Five inch Monster Tag, ooh! <laughs> Let's pop the hood on these things. All right, car could pop, face off. <laughs> Start with the GTI. Woo! Okay, VR6 2.8. First, we got the Unobtainium ABT strut tower bar. Also bought in 96, along with the headlights and grill by the original owner. The engine has a chip and a catback exhaust. That's it. These VR6 engines, stock put out 172 horsepower. It is just a silky smooth power band. The sound is so nice. Now we got the Civic. So this is a US spec Integra GSR motor, B18C. This setup is actually carb legal and it has AC. So it's a dream setup for me because it's uh, basically all the fun, none of the hassle. Semi-built motor, got some forged internals, cam, intake, 
Civic Type R LSD. This is an awesome driving experience at 5,800 RPM. When VTEC hits, it is a lot of fun, but there's no torque. <laughs> so that's where the turbo kit comes in. Welcome to my OG office. Here we got some of the turbo parts. So I was able to find a Greddy Carb Legal turbo kit um, for the 9899 Civic Si that bolts right up to this car and is intended to work with AC. Just been waiting for a good time to install it. Been enjoying driving the car, naturally aspirated, but um, had it for, like I said, about a year now. So I'm ready for a change. You can see we got the Mishimoto front mount intercooler. We got a baffled Moroso oil pan. Here we have the Grams 1000 cc injectors, exhaust manifold, Grady turbo, Ooh. the blow off valve right there, XS, radium engineering fuel rail. This thing is going to be a fun, fun build. This car, 2,600 pounds, 200 horsepower. This car, about 2,800 pounds, 180 horsepower. So it's down on horsepower, over on weight, but the turbo kit we're getting for the Volkswagen is bigger than uh, that. And it's not carbon legal either. <laughs> so let me show you some of the parts we got for the GTI. Uh, Recaro, this is an extra fixed bucket Pro XL that I have for the CC when I do track days sometimes. Might throw it in the GTI. We got some Eurosport rear strut bar and front the chassis support. Just came in yesterday, pumped. Also got some H&R coilovers and H&R sway bars from Eurosport. Love those guys. Got the Unobtainium ABT dead rest pedal from my boy Carlos. Hooked it up. Those are hard to find. I had one of these in my old Mark III and it completes the interior. It looks so good, especially matched with the driver's edition pedals that I have. But here we got some stuff <laughs> from the 90s. Go back in time. All right, so in 1998, I was 18 years old and I had no money. I was a college student working as a busboy. So all this stuff was just a dream to me because it's pretty expensive, especially when you compare it to the Honda stuff. Um, but this right here is what we're turning the green GTI into. We're going full ABT cup build. So that includes a wide body fender, this lower rear quarter panel that extends the body and wheel arch, and then it's all mold it into the body, take the side skirt off. I'm gonna run it with the ABT side skirts and then ABT front lip. Woo, and then I have these exact wheels. They're being rebuilt right now by VR Wheels. <laughs> and, and just looking at this and knowing that I have all these parts, it just freaking blows me away. It's ridiculous. And I'm gonna turbo it. Psh, that's right, that's the sound it's gonna make. Psh, blow out valve. Ugh. Dude, I'm freaking excited. I was staring at that when I was 18 years old, be like, man, how do I get that? And now I got it. It only took me 20 years. Look at that, the original window sticker. 19,685. Two options. Sequoia green, 175 bucks. Black leather, 550. Such a deal. Total, 20,985. Sick. So stoked that I have the original window sticker. All right, so now we're gonna take each car off for a little drive so you can see how they run in their current form. Starting with the GTI. Instantly when I get in here, I feel like I'm 18. Fire up that smooth VR6. Nice power windows, one touch. <laughs> this car has excellent torque, very smooth power delivery, amazing VR6 sound. Right now this just has a catback exhaust so it's quiet, sounds nowhere near as good as my Corrado did. <laughs> Nothing feels cheap. 
not an excessive amount of rattles for its age. We're getting the turbo kit from Bonbrenner, BBM. Old school Volkswagen guys will recognize them from, they do a lot of G60 tuning from the old Corrado days. The kit we're getting is essentially based off of the old Kinetic turbo kit. Uh, uses the C2 Motorsports tune, uses a head spacer to get extra compression, 42 pound injectors, front mount intercooler, and it's essentially a full bolt-on turbo kit that'll produce about 350 horsepower and doesn't require any built internals of the engine or anything. So pretty much plug and play, ready to go, 350 horse. And I'm gonna couple that with a wave track differential to help put the power down. Had one in my Corrado and it worked very well. Also need a new clutch. If anybody has any recommendations of what clutch they'd recommend, please drop a comment below. This car is very enjoyable to drive in its current state. Oh, very smooth, excellent power delivery. She also has a system, so, so it bumps, which I love. These seats are comfortable, but I think I might order a set of Recaros just because it's gonna be like the final piece of the build just to complete everything. This car's a blast to drive. Let's jump in the Civic though and see how she compares. And right off the bat, feels like a completely different type of car, and it is. This car, when new, cost $10,000 for a 96 Civic CX, whereas the GTI VR6 cost $20,000. So the GTI is luxurious, this is bare bones. Although I love the styling, it's classic 90s simplicity. Uh, it's bare bones, but it does work, it's, it's definitely functional. And this car has something that my car didn't is a glove box. They didn't start putting glove boxes in the GTIs and the Jettas until 97. So, one up for the Civic. So let's downshift to first. Flooring at 4,000. Woo, that was to 80. God, this car is quick. It's pretty well dialed in, so it begs you to beat on it. These Civics, they beg you to rev them out. This car feels slow until you're in VTEC. So right now, if I'm at third gear at 3,500 RPM and I floor it, 4,500, 5,000, it definitely takes a while to get going. But all the power is up top. So if I was to downshift into second and go, that's obviously going to be a much different story. in the gas pedal. When we put the turbo kit on this car, it's going to be incredible. Oh, there's going to be a lot of stuff going on. You're going to be able to get low RPM boost. You're going to get blow off noises. And then at 5,800 RPM, it's still going to pop VTEC. <laughs> we are going to run a Honda ECU, and that's going to allow us to tune anything we want with launch control, no lift shift. Very excited to have that all installed and dialed in. Here we go. Not a VTEC. VTEC. Car is so great to downshift, heel and towing. It's a very, it's a pleasure to drive this car. It really is. VTEC. Exciting. Because you have to rev it all the way out and shift quickly in order for it to stay in VTEC above 5800 RPM, it adds so much to the excitement. It's like a flaw that makes the car better. Here we go. Right now, 
the Civic wins hands down. It's intense. All right. So that's it for this video. I'm excited to start the builds out. It's gonna be really fun to see how both of these cars evolved with the turbo kit. Right now the Civic is way faster and way more fun to drive, but after we add about 150 horsepower to the GTI, it's gonna be a different story. <laughs> this car's a blast to drive right now. The GTI is very fun too, but in a much different way. Much more refined, comfortable cruiser. This, you get in and you just wanna start banging gears, revving it out to 8500. <laughs> the GTI is definitely more dealable and, uh, and comfortable especially with the way they're set up right now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please subscribe if you're new to the channel. Please go to OGSocial.com and sign up for the free beta test. Lock in your name for free. It could be the next big thing, and you don't want to miss out on having your name. Right now it's free, so lock it up. And until next time, have a really cool day. Peace.